second samuel chapter 22 verses 45 to 46 strangers shall submit themselves unto me as soon as they hear me they shall be obedient unto me strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid heart of their close places i take that again strangers shall submit themselves unto me as soon as they hear they shall be obedient unto me strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid of their close places those are the words of god not the words of mine and father even as i share this message which i have titled strangers shall fall i pray for as many people that are under the influence of my voice I pray for as many people that are listening to this message and I decree that any string power that is oppressing them, any string power that is harassing them, any string power that is intimidating them, any string power that is afflicting them, in the name of Jesus Christ, the name above every other name, I command those string powers to fall and die, fall down and die, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. According to your word, I command every string powers in your body, every string powers in your soul, Every string powers in your businesses, every string powers in your house, every string powers in your family, every string power that is walking up and down your life, every string powers that is limiting your progress, every string powers that is opposing your breakthroughs, every string powers that is firing arrows of destruction, arrows of sickness, arrows of infirmity against your life, I command them to fade away. Fade away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, I challenge every string power that is boosted against your destiny. I challenge them by the word of God that says, Strangers shall be afraid of their close places. Any power, anywhere, anywhere they are hiding, I challenge them by fire. I challenge them by the blood of Jesus Christ. I challenge them by the word of God. And I command them to come out. I cast them out, out of their hiding places. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine money to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Lobi. I'm by the grace of God, by the Spirit of God. I'm sharing a message today which I've titled Stranger Shall Fall. Strangers shall fall. The string power that has been inflating sickness over your life shall fall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The strength power that has been boosting against your breakthroughs, boosting against your promotion, boosting against your marital breakthroughs, boosting against your financial breakthroughs, boosting against your spiritual breakthroughs, they shall fall. They shall fall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The strength powers that has been firing arrows against your life, the strength powers that has been visiting you at night, the strength powers that have been moving around your body, the strength powers that has been limiting your progress in the name that is above every other name, I cast them out. I cast them out in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ. Stranger shall fall. That is the title of this message, and the reference text is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 22, verses 45 to 46. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear me, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. I pray for you again that every strength power, every power that you don't want, anything that you don't want, every burden, every difficulty, every challenge that has been attacking you in the name that is above every other name, according to the word of God that says strangers shall submit, I command your problems to be arrested, I command your challenges to be arrested, I command your debts to be arrested, I command your disappointment to be arrested, I command your failures to be arrested, I command your burdens to be arrested, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Number one, strangers are evil spirits that possess individuals. According to the word of God, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name, every evil spirit that is possessing you, I command them to hear the word of God. I command them to be obedient to me. I command them to fade away. I command them to come out of their hiding places. I cast them out. I cast them out. Every evil spirit has been sponsoring poverty. Every evil spirit has been sponsoring deaths. Every evil spirit has been sponsoring sin. Every evil spirit has been sponsoring depression. Every evil spirit that has been spawning sickness into your life in the name that is above every other name i cast them out i cast them out in the mighty name of jesus christ what are strangers number two strangers are evil arrows fired against a child of god today because we're a child of god today because we're a covenant child today because the hedge of god is around you today because the sheet of god is around you every evil arrows of sickness every evil arrows of failure every evil arrows of disappointment every evil arrow of rejection Every evil arrow of stagnancy, every evil arrow of barrenness, every evil arrow of marital delay, 
every era of marital confusion, every era of marital crisis, every era of masturbation, every era of pornography, every era of fornication, every era of adultery, every era of sickness, every era of cancer, any evil arrow that has been fired against your body, soul, and spirit from the kingdom of darkness, I command them to gather themselves together, and according to the word of God, I recognize and I call them strangers, and I command them to fade away. Fade away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I gather them together, and I cast them out. I cast them out, out of your body, out of your marriage, out of your soul, out of your spirit, out of your family, out of your businesses, out of your ministry, out of your children, out of your brain, out of your chest, out of your heart, out of your kidney, out of every organ of your body, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sickness is an evil arrow, and today I command every sickness in your body to hear the word of God. Sickness to a stranger, and today I command every sickness in your body to hear the word of God fade away, fade away, fade away out of your close places, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Strangers are messengers of Satan assigned to afflict a child of God. Because we're a child of God, and the word of God says that anyone that is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the fruit tree that has overcome the world in our faith. Therefore, every messenger of death, every messenger of sickness, every messenger of disappointment, every messenger of demotion, every messenger of wickedness, every messenger of evil, every messenger of Satan that is assigned against you, I command them to be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested now. Be arrested. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon the word of God that says, stranger shall be obedient unto me. Therefore, you messengers of Satan, you are a stranger. I therefore command you to be arrested. I arrest you. I arrest and detain you and I cast you out. I cast you out into the pit of hell. I cast you out of that family. I cast you out of that business. I cast you out of that body. I cast Cast you out, out of that family. I cast you out, out of that marriage. I cast you out, out of that ministry. I cast you out, out of that child. I cast you out of that marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Number four. Strangers are demons that are spiritually inhabiting the body of Christians. God has given us authority over snakes and scorpions. He has given us authority to overcome every power of the enemy. Therefore, you demon spirit that are affecting the life of Christians, you are strangers. And I stand upon the word of God that says, Stranger shall submit unto me. I stand upon the word of God that says, Stranger shall be obedient to me. I stand upon the word of God that says, Stranger shall fade away. I stand upon the word of God that says, Stranger shall be afraid out of their close places. Therefore, you demon spirit that are causing sickness in the brain, that are causing sickness in the body that are causing sickness in the kidney that are causing sickness in the heart that are causing sickness in the liver that are causing sickness in the bones that are causing sickness in the ears that are causing sickness in the mouth that are causing sickness in the teeth that are causing sickness in the arteries that are causing sickness in the eyes that are causing sickness in the mouth you are strangers you are strange spirit you are not of god you are evil spirit in the name that is above every other name i cast you out i cast you out 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 of the kidney out of the liver come out out of the kidney out of the liver out of the heart out of the brain out of the nose out of the ears out of the neck you are strange spirit every palpitation of the heart every weakness of the heart every strange spirit that is moving around you every serpent and spirit that is moving around your body these are strange spirit they are not of god i command you to hear the word of god fade away fade away come out of your hidden places come out of your close places come out of your secret places and i cast you out i cast you out into the nearest river i cast you out into the nearest ocean i cast you out into the nearest sea I cast you out in the nearest stream in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of your close places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because God has given him power over snakes as scorpions and over every power of the enemy. You demon spirit that has been sponsoring poverty, stagnancy, sickness, infirmity, diseases, oppression, affliction into the life of as many people that has under the influence of my voice. You demon spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be buried alive. Be buried alive. Be buried alive. Right here where you are. As many people that are under the influence of my voice. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your breakthrough, receive your deliverance, receive your promotion, receive your deliverance, receive your favor, receive your deliverance, receive your grace, receive your deliverance, receive your grace, receive your deliverance, receive your mercy, receive your deliverance, receive your comfort, receive your deliverance, receive your joy, receive your deliverance, receive your children, receive your deliverance, receive your peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Number five, strangers are falling angels oppressing the lives of Christians. But the good news we have is that the angels in the presence of God are ministering spirits to the 
the saints. Therefore, I command the angels in the presence of God, the ministering spirit, I command them to chase away every falling angel that is guarded against any person under the influence of my voice, every funny angel that is oppressing you, every funny angel that is wasting your opportunities, every funny angel that is afflicting you, every funny angel that is blowing away your goodness and mercy. I command the angels of God to chase them away. I command the angels of God to bear them. I command the angels of God to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command an archangel of God, the angel of mercy, the angel of grace, the angel of favor, the angels of divine protection, the angels of holiness. I command the angels of breakthrough to fight for you. I command them to fight for you. Angels shall fight for you. They shall fight for you. They shall fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every oppression of your life, every oppression of your ministry, every oppression of your marriage that is being sponsored by Ages, I command those oppression to be terminated, be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every activities of funny angels in your life, every activities of funny angel in your dream, every funny angel that is manifesting itself or herself as a spirit wife, as a spirit husband to you, every funny angel that is manifesting itself or herself as your spiritual lover, I call them off, I identify them and recognize them as strangers. They are not of God, they are of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, with the sword of fire, I call them off. I cut them off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Number six, strangers are unwanted guests in the life of Christians. What is the unwanted guest in your life? Is it poverty? Is it sorrow? Is it crisis? Is it burden? Is it debts? Is it sicknesses? Is it failure? Is it disappointment? Is it joblessness? Is it tenancy? Is it barrenness? What are the unwanted guests in your family? What are the unwanted guests in your household? Every unwanted guest in your life, they are strangers. And I stand upon the word of God that says, Stranger shall submit unto me. I stand upon the word of God that says, Stranger shall be obedient to me. I stand upon the word of God that says, Stranger shall fade away. Therefore, every unwanted guest, everything, everybody, every reproach that you don't want in your life, in your family, in your career, in your business, in your ministry, every reproach, every unwanted guest that has stayed with you for months, for weeks, for years, every unwanted guest that you have not been able to cut away today the word of god is coming to you and the bible says that on Mount Zion there is deliverance therefore every unwanted guest in your life in the name that is above every other name by the power of the god of elijah the god that answered by fire the god that answered in fire by the power of the god of elijah the god who is a consuming fire the god who is a devouring fire i provoke the fire of the god of elijah against every unwanted guest in your life and i command them to be consumed by fire be consumed by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ Sickness is an unwanted guest in your life. Cancer is an unwanted guest in your life. Pain in the body is an unwanted guest in your life. Manila is an unwanted guest in your life. Arthritis is an unwanted guest in your life. Fever is an unwanted guest in your life. Migraine is an unwanted guest in your life. Headache is unwanted guest in your life. As many names that the doctors have given to any sickness or disease that is affecting you, I am persuaded they are unwanted guests in your life. Therefore, I gather those sickness together and I command them to hear the word of God according to Second Samuel chapter 22 verse 45 to 46 that says, Strangers shall fade away. All of them are strangers. All sickness in your body, they are strangers to your body in the name that is above every other name. And according to the word of God, I command your sickness to fade away. They shall fade away. They shall fade away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree good health. I decree joy. I decree mercy for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Number seven. Strangers are problems that you should easily solve, but they have turned themselves into a permanent feature in your life. Strangers are difficulties you have not been able to solve for years. Strangers are those things you don't want, but they are remain with you. Anything you don't want that has remained with you, I cause them by the word of God. Anything that you don't want that has remained with you, I command them to be broken by the word of God. Anything that you don't want that has remained with you, I command them to die by the word of God. Anything that you don't want that has remained with you, I command them to be consumed by the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Number eight, strangers are the unseen enemies of your soul. Every power and principality, every spiritual forces of darkness, every rulers of high places, every powers of witchcraft that is fighting against you, every evil spirit that you don't see, every invisible power that is fighting against you, are they oppressing you and you cannot see them? Are they attacking you and you cannot see them? Are there strange objects moving around your body and you cannot see them? Every unseen thing, every enemies of your soul that are fighting against you in the 
name that is above every other name, I command them to be obedient to the word of God. In the name that is above every other name, I command them to fade away. They must fade away out of your life. They must fade away out of your businesses. The enemies you see today, the parents you see today, the challenges you see today, the deaths you see today, the sickness you see today, the failures you see today. The oppression you see today, the affliction you see today, the sin you see today, you shall see them no more. You shall see them no more. In the order of Pharaoh, every Pharaoh is a stranger. Every Goliath is a stranger. Every Herod is a stranger. Every power anywhere that has been afflicting you, they are enemies of your soul. In the order of Pharaoh, I command them to fade away. They shall fade away. They shall perish in the rest sea, and you shall see them no longer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall see sin no longer. You shall see sexual perversion no longer. You shall see sickness no longer. You shall see failure no longer. You shall see death no longer. You shall see poverty no longer. They shall fade away according to the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Strangers are the powers assigned to frustrate your plans and waste your opportunities. I waste any power that wants to waste you and I destroy any power that wants to destroy you. I kill any powers that want to kill you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every agenda of the enemy, every satanic bomb of the enemy, every satanic program of the enemy, I command it to backfire. They shall backfire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The plans of God for you shall come to pass. The agenda of God for you shall come to pass. The destiny of God for you shall be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are strangers? Number 10. Strangers are the powers assigned to oppose the will of God in your life. Today I speak to every antichrist spirit, any power anywhere that is persecuting you, any power anywhere that is limiting the grace of God, that is limiting your potentials, that is limiting your achievements. Strangers are powers opposing the will of God in your life. Therefore, any power that is attacking your glory, they are strangers. And I stand upon the word of God in 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 45 and 46, that says, Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Therefore, any power anywhere that is boasting against your life, any power anywhere that is saying no to your breakthrough, any power anywhere that is limiting your miracles, that is limiting your progress, any power anywhere that is saying you cannot achieve, you cannot move beyond a point, any power anywhere that is stagnating you, they are strangers in a name that is above every other name. I cast them out in a name that is above every other name. I bury them alive. I command the heart to open up and swallow the enemies of your destiny. I command the heart to open up his mouth and swallow the enemies of your marital breakthroughs. I command the heart to open up his mouth and swallow the enemies of your your star, the enemies of your glory, they shall be sworn up. They shall be sworn up by the heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 45 to 46. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. We have been able to define strangers. We are now going to go ahead and look at the works of strangers. We have known that strangers are evil spirits. We have known that strangers are demon spirits. We have known that strangers are funny spirits. We have known that, that strangers are sicknesses. We have known that strangers are oppressive spirits. We have known that strangers are evil spirits. We have known that strangers are demon spirits, sponsoring sicknesses, sponsoring affliction, sponsoring poverty, sponsoring failures into the lives of people. We are now going to go ahead by looking more at the works of strangers. What are the works and activities of strangers? Number one. If you feel strange objects like serpents moving up and down your body, these are strange spirits at work. But the good thing is that we have authority over these strange spirits. But the good thing is that Jesus Christ has given us authority over serpents and scorpions. Jesus Christ has given us authority over every power of the enemy. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Today by the word of God, today by the power of God, today by the anointing of God, today by the spirit of God, today by the blood of Jesus Christ, today by the fire of the Holy Ghost, today by the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ, I address every strange spirit, I address every nephiantan spirit, I address every serpentine spirit that is crawling around your body, that is crawling around your soul, that is crawling around different parts of your body in a name that is above every other name. I cast them out. I cast them out out into the river, out into an animal, out into the sea in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every serpentine spirit that is moving, that is crawling from the sole of your feet to the ear of your hair, every strange spirit that is inhabiting your body, every strange movement in your body, every which Movement, every serpent and spirit that is crawling around your body, I command them to be roasted by fire, be roasted by fire, be roasted by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree your deliverance and I decree your complete in him in Jesus' mighty name. What are the words of strangers? Number two, if your mind is full of evil thoughts, if your mind is full of lustful desires, if your mind is full of wicked thoughts, then strange spirit is at work. 
The plan and agenda of this strange spirit is to get you to sin against your creator. I address every lustful thought, I address every wicked thought, I address every evil thought in your body, and I cast it out, I speak to your heart, and I cast every strange spirit inside your heart that is influencing you, that is motivating you, that is desiring you to commit evil. And I command it to come out, come out of your sacred places. You cannot hide in that heart, you cannot hide in that mortal body, you cannot hide in that brain. Every strange spirit, every spirit of wickedness in your life, every spirit of anger, every spirit of provocation, every spirit of impatience in your life, I cast them out. Come out of your hiding places, come out of your secret places, come out of the soul, come out of the body, come out of the brain, come out of the heart, come out of the eyes, come out of the ears, come out of the fingers. I cast you out into the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are the words of strangers? Number three, if you are frequently falling sick, especially after eating in dreams, then strange spirits are at work. Any power anywhere that is visiting you at night, any power anywhere that is contaminating your dream life, any power anywhere that is polluting your dream life, every demon spirit that is showing you satanic movies at night, every evil caterer that is visiting you at night that is causing you a food that you did not prepare, any demon spirit that is giving you demonic food at night, I command them to be roasted by fire, be roasted by fire. I incubate your house with the fire of God. I turn your house into the house of fire. I turn your bed into the bed of fire. I turn your mattress into the mattress of fire. I command the angels of God to come around you. I command the fire of God to be one around you. As you lie down and still, you shall not be afraid. The fire of God shall be a sheet around you. The name of Jesus Christ shall be your head. Any power anywhere that wants to pollute your dream life, any power anywhere that wants to feed you at night, I command them to be roasted by fire. They shall be roasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are the words of strangers? Number four, if you are afflicted with strange illness that defies diagnosis or medication, then strange spirits are at work. But the good news we have is that we have the band of Guinea. The good news we have is that Jesus Christ is the divine healer. The good news we have is that in Matthew chapter 10 verse 1, Jesus Christ called his disciples one by one and he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out to heal every manner of sicknesses and every manner of diseases. The good news we have is that in Acts of Apostle chapter 10 verse 38, God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the only good and power who went about doing good, healing all those who are oppressed by the devil because God was with him. The same God of Israel is with us today and I exercise my power as one of the disciples of Jesus Christ and I command every unclean spirit, every spirit of sickness, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of disease, disease of the heart, disease of the kidney, disease of the lung, disease of the nose, disease of the mouth, disease of the teeth, disease of the eyes, disease of the brain, disease of the kidney, disease of the ears, disease of the bones, disease of the necks, disease of the fingers, every strange disease, every strange spirit that has been afflicting pain, that has been sponsoring terrible or incurable disease in your mind, I say you are strange spirit and according to the word of God, I cast out, I cast out, come out of the kidney, come out of the liver, come out of the brain, come out of the nose, come out of the heart, come out of the mind, come out of the bones, come out of the blood, come out of the soul, come out of the spirit, come out and be cast into the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right here where you are, receive your healing, receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are the words of strangers? Number five. If you are having hallucination or depression or you are feeling sad or you are feeling like committing suicide, then strange spirits are at work. Every evil spirit, every wicked spirit, every fallen demon that is sponsoring depression and suicide thoughts in your heart, you are a strange spirit, you are not of God. In the name that is above every other name, I command you to fade out, fade out, come out of hiding places, be cast out into the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are the words of strangers? Number six, if you are a compulsive liar, if you are hot tempered, then you need to deal with the strange spirit of hunger. You need to deal with the strange spirit of lying. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ again and I release the power of God over you. I release the anointing to go and sin no more. I release the anointing to speak the truth always. I release the anointing to overcome lying. I release the anointing to overcome the spirit of lying, the spirit of temper and the spirit of anger, the spirit of lying over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine money to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Baba Tokwe Babadobi and we are looking at a message which I have titled Strangers Shall Fall and the reference text is 2 Samuel chapter 22 verses 45 to 46. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. We have tried to define strangers. We have also looked at the activities of strangers. The first thing we are going to do in this message is to examine some facts about strangers. 
and have outlined 10 facts about strangers. The first thing we can say about strangers is that they are emissaries of Satan. This demonstrates this evil spirit, this wicked spirit that we are talking about, these funny angels we are talking about, they are not from God, they are from Satan. They are emissaries of Satan. And today, every emissary of Satan, every Satan, every emissary, every ambassador of Satan, every minister of Satan assigned against your life, against your marriage, every satanic ambassador that has been flitting, that has been sponsoring crisis, marital disagreement, quarrel, and misunderstanding your marriage, I command them to be arrested. They shall be arrested. They shall be arrested in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is the second fact about strangers? Number two, they can attack any Christian. Whether you are born again or you are a nominal Christian, you are open to the attack of strangers. But we thank God, according to the word of God, any power that is attacking you, the power of God shall attack them. Any power that wants to destroy you, the spirit of God shall destroy them. Any power that is contending against your life, the spirit of God, the power of God, the host of evil shall contend against them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command the angels of God to attack your attackers. I command the angels of God to contend with your contenders. I command the angels of God to oppose your opposers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what are the fast about strangers number three they can be easily cast out by the power of god and is that power of god that you are exercising this day is that power of god that you are standing upon this day is that power of god that you have pronounced this day and i pronounce that power of god to break every yoke over your life i command that power of god to cast away everybody over your life i command that power of god to run away every reproach in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ what else can we say about strangers number four they are afraid of christians with anointing the bible says in isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 in that day the yoke shall be taken from off thy neck and the burden shall be taken from off thy shoulders the yoke shall be broken because of an anointing anointing to overcome every oppression of strangers anointing to cast out every body of strangers anointing to break every yoke of strangers right here where you are receive the power of god receive the power of god receive the anointing receive the fire of god receive the power of god receive the presence of god receive the glory of god receive the power of god receive the fire of god in the mighty name of jesus christ what else can we say about strangers number five they can stubbornly refuse to be cast out if there is a satanically legitimate reason for them to oppress their victims what do i mean if you have committed sin in the past what do I mean if you have made covenant with the devil in the past? What do I mean if you have been dedicated to the devil in the past? What do I mean if you have made an agreement with the devil in the past? What do I mean if you have given your soul to the devil in the past? The strangers can have a legitimate reason to oppress you. If you have done this, the stranger can stubbornly refuse to be cast out. But today I speak against every stubborn problems in your life. Today I address every stubborn reproach in your life. Today I address every stubborn burdens in your life. Today I address every stubborn sickness that is defying medication in your life. I address them by the fire of God. I command the fire of God to go to the foundation of your life. I command the fire of God to go to the foundation of your destiny. I command the fire of God to go into the foundation of your family. I command the fire of God to go to the foundation of your body, soul, and spirit. I command your life to be repaired by fire. Repaired by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every con- you are made with the devil every evil education every evil covenant every evil agreement you have made with the devil consciously or unconsciously directly or indirectly because you have run to the name of god today i command those agreements those demonic covenants i command it to be broken be broken by the blood of jesus christ according to the word of god jesus christ has redeemed you from every cause of the law every cause of failure every cause of failure every cause of barrenness every cause of marital delay every cause of thou shall not marry every cause of thou shall not be successful every cause of thou shall not be have breakthrough every cause of thou shall not have a baby every cause of thou shall not be rich every cause of thou shall not be successful every cause of thou shall not serve god i command those cause to be broken be broken in the mighty name of jesus christ what are the facts about strangers number six strangers are afraid of the name of jesus christ and it's because of this reason that the bible says that strangers shall fade away it's because of this reason that the bible says that strangers shall be obedient to me it's because of this reason that strangers have says that as soon as they hear me they shall come out of their close places therefore i pronounce the name of jesus christ against every strange spirit every strange affliction every strange oppression in your life anywhere they are hiding hear the word of god anywhere they are hiding i challenge them by the name of jesus christ i challenge them I address them any sickness in your body in your kidney in your liver in your head in your brain in your nose in your ears in your hands in your fingers in your bones in your blood anywhere strange spirits are hiding in your life every affliction in your body in your soul in your marriage in your ministry i address them by the blood of jesus christ by the blood of jesus christ i cast them out you spirit of cancer i address you by the blood of jesus christ you spirit of cancer i cast you out in the name of jesus christ you spirit of hepatitis you spirit of high blood pressure you
you spirit of no blood pressure you are not of god you are of the devil therefore hear the name of god hear the word of god hear the power of god in the name of jesus christ the name that is above every other name i command you to feed away in jesus name what are the fasts of strangers Another fast about strangers is that they oppose the name of Jesus Christ and do not want the name of Jesus Christ to be mentioned anywhere they are in operation. But the good news today is that you have mentioned the name of Jesus Christ several times. The good news today is that every oppression in your body, you have addressed them by the name of Jesus Christ. And we mention the name of Jesus Christ again. We shout the name of Jesus Christ. We cry the name of Jesus Christ. We address that praying. We address that affliction, poverty, that reproach, that difficulty, that body, that strange spirit, that unseen guest, that invisible guest, that unseen wanted guess that unwanted reproach we address them in the name of jesus christ we cry and we shout the name of jesus christ and we command those parents to fade away they shall fade away in the mighty name of jesus christ what else can we say about strangers another fact about them is that they can torment their victims for a very long time if you don't know your covenant right if you don't know how to do self deliverance, if you don't go for deliverance in the ministry that have the revelational knowledge of God concerning the works of strangers, those strange spirits can afflict you for a very long time. But today is your day of salvation. Today is your day of healing. Today is your day of deliverance. Today is your day that you will not see the enemies, the prayers you have seen in the past. You shall not see them no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you are having wisdom, you are having knowledge, you are having understanding. Because this information of the word of God is coming to you today, every affliction in your body, in your soul, in your life, in your marriage, in your ministry, in your career, in your academies, I command them to aspire. They shall be terminated. They shall be terminated. I decree an hand. There is an hand, says the word of God. And today is the hand of that affliction. Today is the hand of that problem. Today is the hand of the words of those strangers in your body, in your life, in your ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are the facts about strangers? Number nine. Another fact about strangers is that sexual immorality is the fertilizer for the operations of strange spirits in your life. Therefore, if you are into premarital sex, therefore, if you are into extramarital activities, therefore, if you are into homosexuality, therefore, if you are into fornication, if you are into adultery, therefore, if you are into habitual masturbation, therefore, if you are into pornography, they are the works of flesh to satisfy your carnal desires. As you involve yourself into these sins, they are fraternizers for strangers to operate. But today, I'm persuaded that somebody wants to say yes to Jesus. I'm persuaded that somebody who wants to say no to sin. I'm persuaded that somebody who wants to surrender his life to Christ. I'm persuaded that somebody who wants to say, I want to live in holiness and righteousness. I'm persuaded that somebody who wants to repent of his sin. I'm persuaded that somebody who wants to invite the Holy Spirit to come and ruin his life. I'm persuaded that somebody who wants to withdraw his name from the register of Satan. I'm persuaded that somebody who wants to write his name in the book of life. I'm persuaded that as you are listening to this message, you are the person that wants to do that. And right there where you are, as you open your mouth and you dedicate your life to Christ, the Spirit of God shall fill you. The Spirit of holiness, the Spirit of righteousness shall fill you. Every foundational sin that is causing strange spirit to thrive in your life, that is causing sickness, that is causing evil, that is causing wickedness to thrive in your life, they shall be terminated. They shall be terminated. Right there where you are, receive the power of God, receive the Spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The last fact about strangers is that they thrive in sin. But I'm persuaded today as you are saying yes to Christ, as you are saying yes to Jesus, as you are saying yes to the Holy Ghost, every sin in your life shall come to an end today. And as you start to live in holiness, as you start to meditate upon the Word of God, as you start to study the Word of God, as you start to communicate with the Holy Spirit in prayers and in fasting, the power of God, the Spirit of God, the fire of holiness shall fill you and the strength of Spirit shall not have any other Negro or legitimate ground to operate in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I shall be concluding this message by looking at simple biblical steps on how you can deal with these strange spirits. The first thing you need to do is to live a holy life, is to live a sinless life, is to live a life of complete and absolute holiness unto God your Creator. And right there where you are, I join my faith with your faith. I command the spirit of holiness and righteousness to heaven up you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that whosoever shall come upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Even I encourage you right there where you are to come upon the name of God and I decree your salvation. I decree your salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right there where you are, open your mouth and confess your sin. Right there where you are, open your mouth and pray that the blood of Jesus Christ shall forgive you your sins. Right there where you are, open your mouth and surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Right there where you are, open your mouth and pray that the blood of Jesus Christ shall wipe away your sins. Right there where you are, open your mouth and pray that the Spirit of God shall rule your life. Even as you do that, I pray for you again that you shall be enveloped with the fire of holiness. You shall be enveloped with the fire of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The next thing you need to do is to rebook 
and arrest the strange spirit that is afflicting you, bind and cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that is what we have been doing since the beginning of this message. And I'm also persuaded, I also know that as you have given your life to Christ, God has given you the power, He has given you the authority to cast away every affliction, to cast away every evil spirit. And I join my faith with your faith again. Every strange spirit, every sin that is not of God, every contrary spirit, every antichrist spirit, every demonic spirit that is attacking you, that is oppressing you, that is afflicting you, I cast them out, I rebook them, I say you are not of God, I rebook them, I say you are the devil, you are not of God. I arrest them in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name, and I cast them out. I cast them out out of your life, out of your marriage, out of your body, out of your soul, out of your spirit. I cast them out of your business. I cast them out of your home. I cast them out out of your family. I cast them out into the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the last thing you need to do is that you have to be on fire for God. You have to meditate upon the word of God day and night. You have to have a consistent program for fasting. You have to praise God with hymns and with songs of praises. And you have to know how to wake up at me night and pray unto God. As you do all these acts of righteousness, as you engage in spiritual warfare, I'm persuaded that you shall receive your deliverance, I'm persuaded you shall receive your miracles, I'm persuaded you shall receive your salvation, I'm persuaded you shall receive your healing, I'm persuaded you shall receive your promotion, I'm persuaded you shall receive your breakthroughs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, stranger shall fall. That is the title of this message and it has been coming to you from Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mind name of Jesus Christ. My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Nubi and for more concerning for prayers, you can call me on this number. Plus 234-803-589-7435. The number again is plus 234-803-589-7435. You can also send me an email and the email address is babanubi at yahoo.com. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I mark you with the blood of Jesus Christ. It is written, Hence for then no power trouble me because I be on my body in the mass of Jesus Christ. Right there where you are, receive the mark of Jesus, receive the mark of divine protection, receive the mark of divine favor, receive the mark of divine healing, receive the mark of divine promotion, receive the mark of success, receive the mark of promotion, receive the mark of salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the angels of God that come around you. The name of God is a strong God as you are run to it today. I decree your safety. I decree your protection. I decree your healing. And I command every accident, every failure, every oppression, every sicknesses to pass over you, to pass over you. They shall pass over you because of the mark of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. From today, you shall live in holiness by the power of God. From today, you shall live in righteousness by the power of God. From today, success is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.